Oh my gosh, he's like, we're somewhere new. I feel like exploring. Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. What's up, my high squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, I sure did. I think I slept like 10 hours last night. Wow. Sorry guys, my math is wrong, but I slept long. It is currently 5 a.m. And guys, I looked into the aviary and look. I don't know if you guys can see him, but right there, there's one of the toads, guys, and he's fat. <laughs> um, in case you're new, uh, welcome to the vlog, guys. This toad here, along with one other toad, was placed in this aviary to deal with massive roaches that were coming up from the drain. And uh, I guess the roaches eat the leftover food that the birds discard on the floor. And the toad here was placed to deal with those roaches. <laughs> this is, I guess, the toad's second night here. And he's looking real fat, so I'm sure he is eating roaches. Now watch this, guys. Sugar. Hi, sugar. Sugar. As you guys saw in the last vlog, this is sugar. It's me. There he is. He's just getting ready for bed. Hi there. It's me. Remember me? Yeah. I'm your friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's like, where's the treat? I'll go get you a treat, okay? See? No aggression anymore. He's completely tame. Here you go, sugar. I have a gift. I got another treat. He's so cute in his pouch. I'm gonna give him a super worm. There you go. <laughs> wow, he grabbed that with his hand. All right. I'll be bonding with him later today. Sugar gliders, by the way, if you're new, nocturnal animals, marsupials, very weird and exotic animals, but he was given to us by a Filipino actor here in the Philippines named Enrique Hill. Actually, a lot of our animals that we have here were adopted. This here, of course, is the ant room, the first floor. See, let me turn on the lights. Love my ant room. It's essentially my man cave <laughs> and where I film videos for my Ants Canada channel. As you can see there, there's my gold play button for the Ants Canada channel. I turned it into an ant farm, guys, and moved ants in and made a video. This here is another ant farm. You guys, for those of you that watch the Ants Canada channel, you guys saw the video I recently uploaded where I gave the ants a raw chicken foot and look, they reduced it to bones. All right guys, so sun is up and I'm just chilling here with sugar. Gave him a nut. He doesn't like when I talk. Like that's the first time he's made that noise all morning. But I've been like petting him in his pouch. He's been totally fine, giving him treats. And he sticks his little head out and is like, oh, it's just you, okay. <laughs> he's so cute. The bonding continues with this one here. So just an update, I've been speaking with a breeder uh, to get a companion for Sugar. So turns out we're going to get a Joey, a young Sugar Glider. Um, it could be a male, but if we get another male, the breeder recommended that we um, neuter both males so that they don't fight. I'm like, wow, they have Sugar Glider neutering now? Wow, they didn't really back in the day. So that's cool. Or we can get a female. But if we get a female, they will definitely breed like rats. Usually two at a time, I think. So I don't know, like, I don't know if I'm ready for the whole breeding process. Cause then I have to go through all the trouble of trying to find the babies a home and stuff. So I don't know, I'm not sure yet. We'll see, but this one will have a companion soon. Now the introduction will have to take a while. It could take up to one month. So it will require putting two cages together with the two sugar gliders separated. And then they just kind of get accustomed to each other through the bars. Um, some people just like when I was young, I just threw them in together, like a male and a female together. And they like bonded after the second day. They slept in separate pouches for the first two nights. And then by the third night, they were sleeping together. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's more recommended that you do it 
like the quarantine way where you put two cages together and then just like get them see how they are through the bars and then mix them when you feel like they, they don't really show aggression to each other so I think that's what we might do also since this is a Joey it's it's a young sugar glider we're gonna wait till it grows a little bit more I think before mixing them I have to see they should generally be about the same size before mixing uh, but it'll be great we'll have a We'll have a sugar glider duo, and then possibly I might even introduce another sugar glider. OMG, can you imagine? Like, we have a whole sugar glider community. <laughs> another thing I learned from my breeder was that our sugar glider cage is a mansion. <laughs> Apparently, it's much bigger uh, than what the, the standard is for one sugar glider, um, or two sugar gliders even. So that's cool. Another thing I learned is that Ceralac, which sugar gliders, uh, Shoga here has been eating, is a widely accepted diet for sugar gliders here in the Philippines. And that the breeder swears by it. And she says that sh her gliders have lived long lives, um, many, many years, and are healthy. So I guess I'm gonna continue feeding Ceralac instead of converting to BML. Ceralac along with other sugar glider safe foods. Cool to know. This here is the entertainment room, our playground as adults. See, we got bean bags from a brand called Zanotta in Italy. They are awesome. We got top called the spun uh, chair. <laughs> That's a chair, guys. That's a piece of furniture. Um, also imported from Italy. All of this, this is all Italian furniture, um, except for this. But I really like this. This here is a couch that is, uh, we saw it in the store and I'm like, RJ, this is perfect. It's called Daz. I bet it's German. But it's modular, so like we could move it around. See, this backing moves to other places. You can put it over here, there, depending on where you want to watch. Like if you want to watch the television there or if you want to watch the movie screen, which comes from the top there. Um, that's also where our green screen will drop down from, see? Can't wait to use that for the first time. And this is where I edit my YouTube videos for Ants Canada. It's just an all around cool playground room for adults, as I said. And I love it. I hang out here during the day often. But let's look outside, guys. Ooh, I love beautiful mornings. I mean, every morning is beautiful, right? Wow. <gasps> Guys, I love how placid the pool looks, like when the water fountain is not on, and it's just still. Look. It looks so peaceful. Look at the reflection of the trees. I hear the parrots in the aviary. See? We got grass. Let's touch grass. <laughs> See, isn't that, isn't that pretty, guys? There's, there's Rizal. R Rizal! Hi, Rizalzies! There's our giant poodle. Hi, Rizal! <laughs> Look at him. Look at the way he prances. Hey, Rizal. There's Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Our Mexican hairless. Let's go. Let's go swim. Come on. Oh, they're best pals, guys. Ooh, and there's a crab spider. Hi there. Let's feel free to... There you go. The birds are having a field day this early in the morning when it isn't too hot, see? There's a black-naped oriole. There's the pool bar. I love swimming when it's this placid too. It's just so quiet and peaceful, like with nature all around. It's just really, really calming. Actually, let's partially get in right now. All right, oh, that is refreshing, guys. Ooh, I love it, yay. Come on, doggies, you coming? My dogs do not like water. I don't know what it is. Look at how it, the ripples travel across the pool. It's hypnotic. Oh my gosh, that is such a trip. Guys, isn't that trippy? Waves. Guys, I love physics. Yeah, this is, this is a great way to start the morning. And the water's warm. And in case you're new, this pool is kind of a really high-tech pool it's non-chlorinated and it's non-salt water either it's 
um, this cool technology from Australia where it's completely fresh water. They basically pump a bunch of copper and silver ions into the water, which makes it hard for bacteria and microbes to like proliferate. And that's how the water stays clean. Um, and there's also other steps of filtration, which happens in the filter. When I swim, it's just, I can open my eyes. They don't burn. I can swim for hours. I don't smell like chlorine and chlorine is not good for the environment and it's not good for your health either. And a lot of people have adverse reactions to chlorine. And I find chlorinated pools have a greenish tinge. When it's fresh water like this, it's completely blue. The pool is also smart. So this little thing here reads all parameters of the water. And then it gives us a report on an app. It tells us, oh, your water's clean and okay to swim. It also tells us the temperature of the water um, in case anything needs maintenance, that sort of thing. Really, really neat. The technology now for pools is awesome. You know, back when we were still planning this entire property and building the home, I was like, RJ, let's not get a swimming pool. And RJ's like, no, we need to. <laughs> we should. And I'm like, RJ, you don't even swim. And if you, if we build a pool and you don't, if you go a month and not swim, because I know RJ, then I'm going to turn this pool into like, an enclosure for crocodiles or something. <laughs> but we ended up building the pool. The first design was um, but then this final design, awesome. And I do not regret it. I'm in here every day, um, sometimes for hours. It's just one of the best things. It's one of my favorite things about our home, this pool. It's so peaceful. It's good for the mind, good exercise, amazing cardio and a great place to meditate too. There's the Pinoy Chalet. Underneath it is the pond and sunken garden, which they're still working on. And behind it, of course, the forest, which I love. There's a lot of land back there. On the other side of this wall, of course, is our farm lot. We're, we're starting to plan, guys, our farming activities, but it's gonna be a gradual process. And listen to the birds, guys, listen. Isn't that awesome? It's like a beautiful song of nature. Almost like a chorus. Nature's choir. Oh my gosh, wow. I just saw the most beautiful chestnut munias in the tree. Where did they go? They're like maroonish little birds. There, see them? Those are chestnut munias. They look like little finches. <laughs> They're looking for nest material to build their nest. Hi. So cute. They've got little like bluish beaks. Guys, look at this plant from the garden. Little beautiful red flowers. Gorgeous. Oh, guys, look at what I saw. Huge huntsman. It's still a baby, but like look at the size of it compared to my finger. Whoa, huge. I, I don't mind though because, you know, they eat like bugs and stuff. So that's all right. All right, guys, let's get a workout in. <laughs> guys, look at Gabriella. She's here watching me work out. All right, just working out to my favorite couple, Hasfit on YouTube. Let's do this. I've got some dumbbells here and a medicine ball or exercise ball. Guys, look at Sahara basking in the light. She loves sunbathing, right? Great sun here in the master bedroom. Just chilling. There's the side lot. Still working on developing it and planning it. Guys, it's gonna be epic, seriously. Part petting zoo <laughs> as well, actually. Here's the beautiful peace lily. I love this plant, honestly. It's doing so well. Look how huge it is. It's massive. And this is its second flower that it sent out. I highly recommend this species, guys. It just is very easy. Just put it near a window it doesn't even need direct light like this for very long. Like this plant just gets sunlight from this window mm, around late afternoons and sunsets. 
But for the rest of the day, it's totally okay with like living in the shade just next to a window. And give it lots of water. It loves water. And it just really flourishes, see? It's gotta be almost a year old now, if not more. Hi there, Magnus. Would you like carrots? Yes, no, maybe so. You're beautiful. Here, have a carrot. No, not hungry. Want a cucumber? You hungry or did you eat a He ate a lot already. Cucumber? Mmm. Mmm. Yes. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I convinced him. How about kangkong? Would you like a kangkong? Water lettuce? No. Guys, he ate so much. Very good. Guys, this is Magnus, our blue green iguana. Gosh, your color, just stunning. Guys, let's check up on Donatello. Donatello, where are ya? Where's our turtle? There he is, I see him, way down there. Hi Donatello. Guys, I added this floating lettuce so it could eat up some of the nitrates from Donatello way down there. See him? Hi there. They're beautiful guppies swimming around. See? Awesome. I did a partial water change as well. This is the uh, temporary holding enclosure for now of Donatello, our adopted turtle who's way down there while they work on the pond at the back. Hi, Brittany. Yes, baby Zalzies. Wanna swim with me this time? Come. All right, for real now, gonna swim. It's afternoon, uh, just after 4 p.m. Not too, too sunny, so it's just perfect for swimming. Oh, wow, look at that cloud. Beautiful cloud. Gorgeous. Honestly, the sky is like a constantly changing art piece. That's all I gotta say. The black-naped Orioles are out. See right there? Beautiful yellow bird. Hi, black-naped Oriole. There are a lot, guys. I see, they're so common in, in these forests. Honestly, they are really reproducing. Um, but I understand it's a very common endemic bird, which is cool. See, I see them flying down there. They stand out because they're so yellow. Good morning. Good morning, Wilbur. Guys, there's one of the toads. Hi, Wilbur. Did you manage to eat roaches? Hi there. You're looking fat. Mm-hmm. Guys, this is Wilbur, a cane toad. I stuck him in here to eat roaches. Where's your friend? Okay, he's running now. Where's your friend? There's one more. Hmm. Where the other one? I can't find her now. But she's in here. Anyways, just came to say hi. Good morning, guys. So, it's 4.14 a.m. I have my coffee, and I'm gonna go see if I could actually play for the first time with sugar, our sugar glider. Gonna look for a small room in the house, and we're just I'm just gonna release him if he wants to come out. Hopefully he does, but we'll see. But I wanted to get my coffee, cause you know, just gonna be sitting around. How are you? Did you sleep well? Oh, sugar, sugar. Good morning. Morning, sugar. Don't tell me you went to sleep already. Are you an early sleeper just like me? Hi, Shugs. I got a gift for you here. He's like, where's my gift? Here, right here. <laughs> I love how he quickly grabs it with his hand and mouth. All right, you're coming with me. I'm gonna take you somewhere cool. All right. I'm really excited, guys. Is our linen room. See? It's just a small room. Um, and I've looked around. There are no, un like, 
secret holes he could disappear into. I was gonna do the walk-in closet, but then there are curtains there. And even though there's nowhere he could hide, I just feel like it might be hard to catch him. But maybe we'll graduate to the walk-in closet because this is our first time um, actually playing and letting him out. Uh, so I just wanna try a small controlled space first. When I had sugar gliders, I used to order a tent and then we would just bond in the tent. And I used to even travel with my sugar gliders because I was crazy that way. Um, and I would bring this tent so at night I could hang out with the gliders wherever I was in the hotel or at, you know, family's place, wherever we were staying. It seems like he was going to bed, so I don't know if he's going to come out. Are you going to come out? Hmm? You're gonna come out and play? And guys, you have to watch out because with these, they just kind of jump out. They don't always walk out. It's like a shh. You're gonna jump out? Hmm? Come on. Yeah. We can play. Let's play. Come, let's play. Mm -hmm. Isn't he cute, guys? Let's play. Yeah, you're in a new place. It's okay. Come on, I know you want to play. So, as I said before, that bald spot on his head is something males have. It's a scent gland. He also has a bald spot on his chest. And these sugar gliders have a, they really have a certain smell. And a lot of people who want sugar gliders, they get them, they don't realize that they do have this certain smell. And the smell stays on my body. Like, I try not to wear sugar before going to the gym or before going out and having an event because the smell kind of lingers. You could shower the smell off, but I'm just paranoid that the smell kind of stays. Mm-hmm. You're so cute. Sugar. Here, want a goji berry? Goji berry. Mm hmm. Goji berry. He's more interested in my hand. No biting my hand. Here. You want me to pet you? Okay. Oh, maybe he was trying to tell me that he wants me to pet him. See, they're so social, guys. You could keep them as a solo animal, but you really need to be with them all the time. If you're a night owl and you, you know, you have the time to spend with them, then maybe they could be kept as solo animals, but people usually keep them as pairs or trios and they do well. Oh, he wanted me to pet him. That's it. Oh, he really is sleepy. You mean I gotta wake up earlier to play with you? Man. I really think he was not really biting me, but like trying to bring my finger in his pouch to get him to pet him, see? And guys, sugar glider fur is so soft. It's like the softest, softest like cottony fur ever. Such magnificent animals, honestly. Don't you want to come out and play with me? You've been alone all night. OMG guys, he's making these little noises, these little squeaks. Do you hear him? Do you hear him? He's like uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it goes higher and higher in pitch as I'm petting him. Now for those of you who are watching this and are like, OMG, the cutest animal alive, I want sugar gliders. Just wanted to also let you know the drawbacks. Getting their diet right is hard. Um, if you're in the Philippines, at least you could buy Ceralac and just supplement with fresh fruit and veggies and insects and whatever. Uh, chicken breast. But in Canada and US, I don't know if they have Ceralac. 
Um, but in Canada and US, people have to put together this crazy mixture called BML, which includes a bunch of like items, like certain baby foods, um, wheat germ, like the randomest things I'd never heard of. Um, and you gotta blend it all up and pour it into ice cubes. And then every night, get one of those ice cubes, defrost it, put it in a bowl, and then provide all the extras, fruits, veggies, insects. It's really hard to feed these guys. Another thing too is, again, the smell. They will pee and poo on you. There's, they're not litter trainable. When they're jumping on your body, they will pee on you. You'll feel a warm streak and I'm like, okay, I just got peed on. Um, <laughs> it's just something you get used to when you have sugar gliders. Uh, again, you gotta be up at night to enjoy them really, because otherwise they're just sleeping in their pouch. Um, they pee and poo and soil their cage. Like all decorations, branches, they need to constantly be washed because it smells, guys. And it isn't long before it starts to gain this like dark brown like layer of grunge. It's hard to explain. It's like a layer of the smelly grossness that you need to wash off all the bars, all the branches, all of that. And also there are 15 year commitment, guys. Like... They live for a long time for a small animal. That 15 years is a long time, 10 to 15. Um, so yeah, those are the drawbacks of having a sugar glider. Um, I would categorize these animals as category four type pets. You, you guys remember that vlog where I gave you guys a, a scale of maintenance in terms of like one category one being like zero maintenance pets like tarantulas and then category five being super high maintenance pets like parrots i categorize sugar gliders as a as a four possibly even a five depending on how many you have but yeah sugar's asleep guess we're not going to be able to play with him today i could like grab him and pull him out but oh Excuse me, I'm still in here. Sorry. Our smart system thought nobody was in here. Um, I could grab him and pull him out, but I don't wanna I don't wanna take that step in our relationship yet. Oh, I know what might make you come out. I've got mango sting here. Yeah, you wanna eat with me communally? It's delicious. The best fruit ever. Here he comes. You can smell it. Mmm, mangosteen. Okay, I'm gonna eat one first. Mmm. 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 Want some sugar? It's mangosteen, my favorite fruit. Oh, yeah. Yummy, right? Oh! That's it! Alright. OMG, guys. He's out. Okay. He just decided to come out. And now he's on my body. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, but I'm downstairs. I didn't expect this. No. We need to go back into the linen room. Oh my gosh. He's like, we're somewhere new. I feel like exploring. Okay, wait, but we'll go explore at a cool, controlled place, okay? Please don't jump. All right, turns out he wants to hang out now. Okay, ah! Oh my gosh, ah, the nails on my scalp, ow. Please don't go on my face. Look at them guys, see? Oh, one of you mentioned he doesn't have a foot. It's true, what happened to your foot? You're missing your back foot. Oh, what happened? Did that happen when you were just a Joey? Or what? Hmm? Yeah, you're so cute. OMG. Now I wish I had like one of those cat jungle gyms and scratch things that he could climb and like totally just play. Ah! Okay, smart system, I'm here. Cool, right? Cool place, huh? 
You want to jump, don't you? Here, walk on this carpet. Go. We could wash that anyway. There he goes. Hi. You gonna jump back on me? Come. Glide. Show my boo high squad how you glide. Come on. Come. He's thinking of jumping. I'm right here. Come on, you can do it. Come on. I want to see him jump. Come on, show them how you glide. You're a glider. Show them your skills, your awesome aerial skills. All right. He's insecure to jump right now. <laughs> Soon, Mabuhai Squad, I will get him in the air. And he'll be able to jump. So it looks like... I don't know if he's bonded to me. You'll know they're bonded when you put them down and then you move away. And then they like hop back on you. They like race to get on you because they don't want to leave you. Or they don't want to be abandoned. Uh, but... If he was bonded, I would just walk around the house. But because I'm not sure, I'm not going to. Okay, looks like he's going back in. There you go. Oh, that was an awesome, awesome session. All right. The glider will move at his own pace. Okay, are you gonna go sleep? Okay, maybe not. He's back out. All right, <laughs> we're not going out then. Here, go on the carpet again. And I want to see you glide. Come on. I'm right here. I'm right here. Come. Will you glide? <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. Sugar. There he is. Come, sugar. Come. Let's see if I can pick him up. Ow. He just bit me. He's like, I don't like that. He's like, I like that carpet thing. Yeah, you liked it a little too much. Here, safety. What's up, my boy high squad? So, just got back from the gym and enjoying the pool. Gosh, look at the weather, guys. Woo, it is so hot. Even yesterday was so hot. Perfect pool weather. Um, there's Polly, our robot. I don't know if it's still vacuuming, is it? Oh no, it's it's off. It's done vacuuming. Um, but yeah, ah, it's gorgeous, gorgeous afternoon. I believe it's 12, if not close to 12 p.m. And this water feels amazing. Just so, so crystal clear. So for lunch, we got homemade spaghetti, well, home prepared spaghetti. We got fish, shrimp, garlic, kangkong, and okra. Mmm. Now this is a post-workout meal. <gasps> Let's eat. Sorry guys, I'm going back in the pool after this. This is awesome pool weather, guys. It's amazing. <laughs> and I'm listening to 90s music, guys. The 90s perfectly matches the weather today. Why? Because it's super sunny. I always remember that the 90s, it was always sunny for some reason. I don't know, in my childhood, I remember the 90s being so sunny. Everything was neon. We were all wearing neon everything. Fanny packs. Remember chuchetos, those suckers? I don't know if they were popular in other places, but they were certainly popular in Toronto. Um, treasure trolls. New kids on the block, like everything was so like colorful and like neon and and every time it's sunny like this, 
Hanging out by the pool reminds me of the 90s. Madonna blasting. OMG. I wish I could like go down memory, memory lane with you guys with my playlist out there, but I can't because of content matching. All right, let's eat this spaghetti. Mmm. 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 Yum. All right, mix it with some protein. Got our shrimps. Mmm, 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 the garlic, so smoky. Mmm, mmm, with the fish. Mmm. Ate Elsie cooked this. RJ cooked this. Mmm, the okra. So crunchy. Guys, did you know the English term for okra is lady's finger? <laughs> Ew. Mmm. Guys, this meal is five Mabuhai stars. <laughs> So guys, one thing about me is kind of a clean freak, kinda, but I'm trying to wipe my pool water that's dripping from my, from my body. I like clean floors, I really like it. It gives me peace of mind. Oh, see? See? See, look at all that dirt! I always try to make a metaphor to the universe, like, universe, as I clean up this floor of all the dirt and moisture, so too do I clean up the dirt and moisture of my life. <laughs> so let's do that, Mabuhai Squad. Let's clean up the dirt and moisture of our lives. Ready? Let's do it together. I read in a motivational book once that when speaking to the universe or God, whatever you speak to or whomever you speak to, um, they like metaphors. All right. There's the dirt of our lives, Mabuhai Squad. Let's throw it in the garbage. Be gone from our lives. Yes. All right, guys. I'm here just hand-feeding Magnus. His veggies. And he's taking it from me. Here you go. You want... Oops, <laughs> come on. I don't think his appetite is 100%. I think he's still adjusting. Um, Cause I did expect him to eat more voraciously. He does eat a lot, but um, I think he's still really adjusting to his new surroundings. But as you can see, he's eating from my hand, which is good, good sign. Mmm, yummy. He's eating kangkong and there was cucumber and carrots. We switch, we switch up the veggies. But generally, the staple is dark leafy greens. So here in the Philippines, that would be kangkong, um, which is water spinach in English, and veggies like malungai, which is moringa, and sweet potato leaves. Awesome, you're so beautiful, Magnus. So beautiful. Mm hmm. He's just an eating machine. Yes. I see he ate all his banana. He loves the fruits. Come on, so that you could grow nice and big. <laughs> Such a good appetite. But I do feel like he will start eating a lot more when he's fully adjusted to his new surroundings. He's still fairly new. Let's quickly check on Donatello. Where is he at? Donatello, where are you at? Hmm. He's probably way down. Somewhere below. <gasps> I know you're in here. Look at how lively the water lettuce is. See? Now that they've like been exposed to, you know, the waste in the water from the fish and from Donatello, they just, oh, there he is. Guys, do you see him? He's so cute. Oh, he saw us. He's trying to hide again. There he is. We saw you. Don't try to hide. But yeah, now that, you know, all the nitrates in the water can be eaten up by the plants, the plants just truly flourish. Look at that. These are much healthier now than when I first put them in here. Perfect. See, filter free guys. But I just got to continue to do water changes 
every week just to uh, you know there he is make sure Donatello's in nice clean waters see him but in his pond he won't need that we have a giant filter and um, we'll have lots of aquatic plants in there to eat up his waste and waste from fish and other decaying organics in the water gosh I just love looking at him through the water hi Donatello <laughs> all right guys so what a past few days it's been um, just gonna continue hanging out um, got some work to do we're preparing for a recording session tomorrow here in our recording booth um, so a lot of exciting things up ahead but guys thank you so much for being part of this journey over the past few days so if you also enjoyed watching this vlog um, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot it lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences and guys I know you have been doing that so thank you so so much really means a lot to me I feel like you guys are my family seriously and if you haven't yet do hit that subscribe button come join our Mabuhay squad and officially be part of the family because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online love you guys thanks so much I'll see you in the next vlog bye mm -hmm.